Hey, I'm Tyler Bronski here at Playlist Life Orlando with Mark Downer. Mark, thanks for coming on. Appreciate thanks it. Thanks for having me, man. Glad to have you on. Now, most people know you from your work in social media, the YouTube game, uh, Instagram comedic skits. But you could have been a sports broadcaster, man. You went to school for broadcast journalism, hosted a radio show. Yep. What, what were some of the sports broadcast aspirations? E ESPN on the mind? Yeah, so basically when I went to college, I wanted to do... My goal in life was to be on ESPN, and I kind of wanted to transition from that. Like, that was my way of getting mm -hmm. on TV and then becoming an actor. But that was, like, what I had in my vision was, like, I'm going to be on ESPN, I'm going to be on TV, and then I'm going to be an actor one day. But I didn't, I didn't go the mm -hmm. route of broadcast journalism. But I'm kind of, like, doing it now, you know? Yeah, no, for sure. Any favorite sports broadcasters when you think back? Oh. Uh, I can't even remember because I haven't watched TV in so long. <laughs> but when I would watch ESPN in college, the, the, the two guys on TSN were really funny. Yeah, yeah. And now you have a podcast, Live in Large. Live in Large! You got to say waiting. it right, bro. I can't do it. I was waiting for you. <laughs> I'm so glad you did it for me. Welcome into the podcast, episode 23 of Live in Large! Watching your podcast, I've watched a lot of these YouTuber podcasts, and it's different. I can tell there's a little different with your experience. Mm -hmm. How much fun has it been for you doing the podcast now? It's interesting because when I did podcasts in college, I was really nervous because I was being judged, right? Mm -hmm. I was being graded on it, and I was just... I was nervous my voice was gonna crack and I was nervous I was gonna say something stupid because it was live. But like having my own podcast and just being in the position I'm in, it's like, it's really cool to have conversations with people, strangers and just get to know them because everyone has their own story and everyone has their own path. And like the way they got here is just really interesting. And like, there's no right answer as to how everyone gets here because everyone goes throughout their own journey. And like something I've learned through doing the podcast and, mm -hmm. and talking to all these people, it's like not really about necessarily being right, but understanding other people. There's a lot of people here at this event. They want to start a podcast. They want to do interviews. Advice for being able to keep that flow and that conversation with the guests, because at the end of the day, that's what we want. Yeah. Just a good conversation. To, to have a good podcast, to have a good interview, you just have to be able to talk, you know, and be and not have awkward silences and just like, it's just like any conversation you have, you know, like when you're getting to know someone, it's just like, have that conversation flow, have it just be natural, come off the top of the tongue. Like there's no reason you should go into it being nervous mm -hmm. or like afraid to ask something. If you're comfortable with yourself, like, and confident in yourself, it, it'll be a good conversation. Well, Stephanie, last question for you, Mark. Uh, you mentioned it actually in your, your talk right now, but Will Smith, you just yeah. met him last week. When you meet Will Smith, what are what's the questions you're asking him? What are you asking him about? So when I met him, and he's such a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Like I talked to him for 45 minutes, one on one, face to face, like we're right. talking now. And at any point, he could have been like, "Yeah, you know, I gotta talk to other people here. Like this is my event." And mm -hmm. he didn't do that. He talked to me, and, and we were just talking about life. I was asking him about life advice. I was asking him about relationship advice. Mm -hmm. I was asking him about. Uh, just career path advice and just all the knowledge that he gave me just super nice guy He's been through it all and it's yeah. like some to learn from someone like him who's 50 years old I'm 25 like he's been through 20. He's been through a whole life of mine and one and another one and, and, and going into the conversation I was like I didn't want to approach him, you know, like as Everybody gets nervous approaching someone they look up to and it's like but I just went in I was like I treated him like me, you know what I'm saying? And like I said, it goes down to the podcast. It's like, you have to be confident in yourself. Like you shouldn't be afraid to talk to someone. You shouldn't be nervous. Your voice shouldn't shake. Like there's no reason you shouldn't have enough confidence in yourself to go and be able to talk to someone and have a conversation because we're all humans, right? Mm -hmm. Like we put people on a pedestal, not necessarily themselves. So it's like, if I think that, you know, he's too good to talk to me, like that's, I shouldn't think that way. You sure. know what I'm saying? Like he's a human, I'm a human. He's been through like a lot of things in life and you have to like appreciate that and credit with him with that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, like you have to have confidence in yourself and the ability to be like, hey man, like let's talk. Right. You know what I'm saying? No doubt about it. Hey Mark, appreciate it. Yeah, Best of luck you, to man. you, man. Yeah, thank you.